of honey, Mother Bear. Oh, dear. I guess we'll have to bake the apples without honey. Oh. Maybe Grandmother Bear has some honey. Why don't you go and see? Okay. are funny creatures. <laughs> Watching bears, you do funny things. We do not. You do too. <laughs> I was just on my way to Grandmother Bear's house for some more honey. Oh, honey. You know, that's something I've never tasted. Well, there's a tiny bit at the bottom of the jar. Taste it. Mmm, that's good. Honey! Honey is my favorite new food. I need the jar, Mitzi. Ooh, certainly, certainly. Ugh! Ah! Ugh. So, where does honey come from? From bees. From bees? Uh-huh. Like those bees over there? Uh-huh. All right, let's go get some honey. Mitzi, no, wait. Got him. Oh, no. Excuse me, Bee. Can you give me some... Ow, ow. Oh. It bit me. Stung you. Bees don't bite, they sting. <gasps> but why? They sting if you bother them. I just wanted some honey. Well, bees don't carry honey. It's in their hive. Then let's go to the hive. Come on, come on! Uh, uh. Mitzi, wait! Just be quiet and watch. Watch what? Shh. Watch the bees. Uh, Mitzi, no! So, I'm learning a lot about bees. And then all the bees came out and chased us, and then we ran to the lake and jumped in. You poor things. You shouldn't be fooling with beehives. No, no grandmother, grandmother bear. bear. Do you have any honey? I'm afraid not. We need more honey, too. Hmm. Maybe you should show me this honey tree. 
I guess we could. I'm not going back there. Those bees sting. Don't worry. I know what to do. What's your friend doing, little bear? Oh, she likes to study things. Oh. What do bees do with honey anyway? It's their food. So when we take some, we never take it all. If I were a bee, I would share my honey. If you were a bee, there wouldn't be any honey left to share. I do love honey. Oh. What are the bees doing, Mitzi? They're leaving. Well, they won't all leave. There will still be some in the hive. It's okay now. The bees are asleep. That doesn't look like honey. That's the honeycomb. The honey's inside. Are you leaving some for the bees? Do you think that's enough? Just about, Grandfather Bear. Thank you, bees. Yes, thanks for the honey. But you can keep your stings. Mmm, honey baked apples. I can hardly wait. Hey! I do love honey. This should be enough for a pie, don't you think? Maybe there's too much. Mmm. There, now it's perfect. How are the fish biting, little bear? Oh. Oh, they're biting, but they're too small. Well, keep trying. You know how Father Bear loves fish stew. So do I, so I better catch a big fish. Oh, I got another bite. Oh, you're too small, too. says you can hear the sound of the ocean inside the seashell. And maybe mermaids, too. Hello, little bear. It's very nice to see you again. I knew it was you. How's the fishing? Not too good. Thank 
cute. Don't you want to keep that? Can I? <laughs> of course. Thank you. It's very pretty. I know where we can find more shells like that. Really? Come on. I'll show you. about this perfect this will make a nice gift for father bear when he comes home He'll be perfect for Father Bear's fish stew. Father Bear's boat. Oh! I'm stuck. I'll help. Uh. Oh! My shells! I lost my fish, too. Be patient, little bear. You still might catch a big one. I have to go now. Goodbye, little bear. Bye, mermaid. Smells good. Tell me what you think. Delicious. That smells like my favorite fish stew. Father Bear, you're home. Welcome home, dear. Father Bear, today I caught a fish and it was this big. You did? Now how did my little fisherman catch himself such a big fish? Next time we go fishing, I'll show you. It's a deal. I happen to catch something myself, little bear. Surprise! It's a boat, just like yours. Oh, thank you, Father Bear. Can you see? It's made of tiny shells from the ocean. Just like the ones the mermaid and I collected today. The mermaid? Mm-hmm. You never can tell with mermaids. No, you never can tell. That's a beautiful Harvest Day banner, Emily. Thank you, Grandmother Bear. I painted it myself. Is it straight, Cat? Your side is perfect, Emily. Owl, you need to be a little lower. Lower. 
the lower. <clears throat> Whoa! Oh. Mm, too low. Let me help you up, Owl. Happy Harvest Day, everyone. Happy, Happy Harvest, Harvest Day! Day! I hope there's room for my chocolate tarts. Here, Mother Bear. Set them right between the peach cobbler and the butterscotch fudge. This will be the pudding section, and all the cookies should go over here. My goodness, little bear, you certainly know your desserts. <laughs> yes, our little bear has a very big sweet tooth. A sweet tooth? What's that? It's what we say about someone when they love sweets. They've got a sweet tooth. I think I've got more than one. Maybe you've got a whole mouthful. <laughs> well, who'll give me a hand setting up for the games? Yay! <laughs> Aren't you coming, Little Bear? In a minute. I'm trying to decide about the desserts. It's hard to know which one to pick. I'm going to eat all of them. All of them? Sure. Well, good luck. Welcome, one and all, to the Harvest Day Picnic. And now, let the games begin. Contestants for the sack race, please take your places. Little Bear, you don't want to miss the race, do you? No, Mother Bear. Hey, no fair. Cat doesn't have all his feet in the sack. Really, Owl? I was only going to use two of my legs for the race. Well, good. There's no point in playing the game unless you play by the rules. All right, everybody. On your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not fair. Ah. It's against the rules. Uh. Uh. I won! I won! I'm sorry, Mitzi. There is no swinging. I should think not. The winners are Cat and Emily. Congratulations, Emily. <clears throat> Congratulations, Cat. Where have you been? Oh, I took a wrong turn. Really? I don't think I'm going to win anything today. Oh, I don't know, Duck. I think you'll like musical chairs. Musical chairs? I love musical chairs! Let's play! You're out, little bear. Oh, well. You didn't even try. Let's see, Sweet Tooth. Where were we? Oh, yes, cookies. Hello. Who were you talking to, little bear? My Sweet Tooth. And did your Sweet Tooth answer you? Mm-hmm. He said, have another cookie. Oh, I see. Granny, the music. Coming! Now the fudge. Here's this year's musical chairs champion. Ow, ow, ow. Hooray! Oh, Is there a game that I can win? How about bobbing for apples, Doc? Come on, I need some help filling the tub. <laughs> what was that, Sweet Tooth? You're absolutely right. Peach Cobbler. We're ready. Here's the apples. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Little bear, have 
a try. Oh, let Duck go next. Stand back, everyone. Let me show you how it's done. I did it! I am! I am! Congratulations, Duck. Good job, Duck. Well done, Duck. Now, it's time for the biggest contest of the day. The Harvest Day Pie-Eating Contest. Ah. I just... I just don't want to. Little Bear? Stomach ache? Uh-huh. Sweet Tooth got the better of you. Mm-hmm. My Sweet Tooth wanted to try every dessert. Maybe we better take you home and put you to bed. Stomach feeling any better? A little. You know what? I think I lost my sweet tooth. That can happen. Do you think it will ever come back? Probably. Oh. <laughs> Good night, little bear. Pumpkin pie? No thanks. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>